hearing aid in quiet and in noise, and then to listen through a personal FM system. This is what speech sounds like when it is recorded through the microphone of the hearing aid. I am now at the optimal listening condition of about three feet away from the microphone of the hearing aid, and there is no noise in the background. For the hard of hearing student in the regular classroom, this ideal listening condition rarely exists. The first condition we would like to demonstrate shows what happens when the teacher walks further than three feet away from the hearing aid. I'm going to walk approximately 10 feet away, and as I do, you will notice that the loudness and the intelligibility of my speech decreases. Mary had a little lamb. Her fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, her lamb was sure to go. And here, at 10 feet away from the hearing aid, you should notice that you have a very difficult listening situation for the hard of hearing student in the regular classroom. As I walk back towards the hearing aid now, you'll notice that there's an increase in the loudness and the intelligibility of my speech until I am once again back at the optimal listening condition of about three feet and you should hear everything with little difficulty. What we would now like to show you is what happens when noise is added to the factor of listening through a hearing aid. To demonstrate the interaction between distance and noise, we will use the following noise sources. A teacher working in the back of the room with some students. This will simulate what could happen in the regular classroom. We will also turn on a fan to simulate the noisy blower fans that many classrooms have. As the noise sources start, I will again walk 10 feet away from the hearing aid, and you should notice that we have an extremely difficult listening condition. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jumped over the candlestick. Jack, jumped high. Jack, jumped low. Jack, jumped over and burning his slow. Here, at the maximum distance from the hearing aid, you will notice that you have an extremely difficult listening situation because of the complete background noise. As I walk slowly towards the hearing aid again, we will turn off the noise sources, and I will be once again back in the optimal listening condition where you should be hearing me with little difficulty. Because the hard of hearing student will have difficulty in the types of listening situations we've just seen, the use of a personal FM system may be recommended. I have the FM system set so that the microphone on the student's hearing aid is still functioning. I'm going to walk 10 feet away from the microphone of the hearing aid. And as I do so, you will again notice that it becomes very difficult to understand what I am saying. When I am at the maximum distance, I will activate the teacher's FM microphone, and you should see an improvement in your ability to understand me. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack went down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. You should notice now that there is an increase in your ability to understand me with the FM microphone on. The FM microphone allows the teacher mobility so that he or she can move about the room and the student can still hear what the teacher is saying. As I walk back towards the hearing aid now, I am going to shut off the teacher's microphone and you will lose the FM advantage. As I walk back closer to the hearing aid, you will see that my speech becomes easier to understand until I am back at the optimal listening condition where you should be understanding me with little difficulty. What happens when noise is again added to the listening condition? We're going to use the same noise sources, a fan blowing and people talking, and I'm going to walk away from the hearing aid. When I get 10 feet away, I'm going to turn on the teacher's microphone, and you should notice there's an improvement in your ability to understand what I am saying. Little Miss Muffin sat in her tub, eating her curds and rain. Along came a spider, who sat down beside her, and threatened her Miss Muffin was away. Now that there is an improvement in your ability to understand what I am saying with the FM microphone on, although this is not an ideal listening condition, it is certainly better than listening at a distance in noise with only the hearing aid. Now I am going to shut off the microphone and you will lose the FM advantage.
if the teacher is close to the student and there is no noise in the background, what we can do to ensure a good listening environment is to provide the student with a personal